the doc file will be open in five minutes. So we're going to start with our session now. So I officially welcome you all to my session, Learn to Transform. And it is very important to transform at least after this COVID. It's only because now things are going to be not same normal anymore. It's going to be new normal. Everything is going to change, my friends. And if you can't move or update yourself with this change, then you will be outdated. Sorry to say this sentence, but unless you update and keep yourself moving with this transformed world, you will not be in the same pace. For you to be in the same pace, uh, you need to transform yourself consciously, very, very consciously. So what are you going to learn in today's session? These are the four things I want to give you. What is transformation? You're going to learn a little bit about what is transformation. And you're going to know about what comfort zone would be, why to transform, and measure of transformation. Because I've seen lots of people transforming in their lives, and you might have also seen lots of people transforming. You yourself might have transformed from a very early stage of childhood to the next level of young adult, and then you are a grown up adult now. But as a grown up adult, do you see your transformation in your daily life? Or at least maybe once a year? You might have observed a transformation in you as and when your friends or family members have committed. But have you consciously transformed? That's my question. That's the key. And for you to transform consciously, innovation is the key. And for innovation, you need experience you need network and today i'm going to give you a bonus four pillar method to transform and this is tested proven method to transform consciously right so now i'm going to open up a doc file for you to fill in so that you will be able to get a certificate after the session right i consider that uh, my voice volume is low is it okay so what about this kind of a voice now is it okay now i'm going to turn the volume here as well a little bit okay so is my volume better now okay thank you thank you Harish Garu. thank you for responding so I'm going to open up the doc file. Just give me a second while I do that. If you have not subscribed onto my YouTube channel, then please do subscribe for more details. I'm just opening the doc file for you now. I'm going to put this doc file in the chat box. You need to click on this doc file and fill in the details. Once you fill in the details, it helps me to give you a certificate. So when you're putting your name, make sure your name should be in capitals and should be how you want it onto the certificate. Now can, you all can see in the chat box now. I'm going to put that here. Harish Garu, we have just started, so you might have not lost much. You can uh, catch up with us now. Right, the form is ready, my friends. So you can type in your details in the chat box, uh, sorry, in the form. Please mention your name as you want it on the certificate. And the certificates will be given next week. It will be the e-certificate. You will be getting it to your email ID.
So I give you two minutes to fill this form. It takes only two minutes to fill this form. Just two minutes to fill the form. And then once we fill the form, we'll be getting back to our presentation. I'm just checking on the doc file. So please do fill in your details in the doc file. Once you're done, just type in done in the chat box. Okay, few more to go. Two more minutes, my friends. It takes only two minutes to fill this form. So just two more minutes and one more minute, sorry. One more minute to complete this form. And there are people watching on the YouTube as well. So we'll be getting some more from there. So thank you all for doing it. Thank you all for responding. Somia Garu, please go into the chat box and you can see a doc file there, a form. Please fill in the form. And this form is for everyone to get your certificate. So make sure you type everything as you want it on a certificate in the name. In the name column, please mention as you want it on the certificate. So just one more minute and we're going to close that. Right friends. So if you have not done filling the form, then take, I'll be giving you some time at the end of the session, then you can fill the form. So for now, we're going to get back to our presentation. You all can see my screen and you can see the presentation on the screen. Just type in yes, we're going to start getting onto the presentation now. Just type in yes, so that I know that you are able to see the screen. Thank you, thank you for the response. Right, what is transformation? I'm really glad that you people have come up uh, to this session to know more about transformation. I definitely feel you're here to know more about transformation because you're in your stage of knowing more about transformation, wherein you're looking for next phase of growth. And in our life, since our childhood, we have transformed so unknowingly so unknowingly that we have seen different phases of life without our knowledge. See, I have given this picture to show you the transformation of this butterfly. When this butterfly is transforming from lava to pupa to the fully grown butterfly, how beautiful it looks once it is fully grown. And similarly, 
we are also so beautiful once we transform so that we are adding value to some people we are able to add value to society we need to transform ourselves so wise that we are able to give something back to society i'm sorry there's some disturbance i'm going to unmute everyone once again so as you can see the butterfly has moved from lava to pupa pupa to the fully grown butterfly and here the last stage of butterfly which is this you can see my cursor here it is so beautiful with different colors and once you see that butterfly you feel so empowered enlightened and you would imagine yourself there with so pleasant thoughts in your mind don't you yes but how many people really like the caterpillar or that lava stage of any uh, of the butterfly you don't actually imagine to see a butterfly in that lava stage it's only because you just love looking at some beautiful things and that's how we are born it is in our dna we like to take things which we want to take sometimes we take the things which are needed for us so that's something we need to look into my my friends sometimes you might not need it but you want to take it because it's urge in you to take it because of societal pressure so the transformation of you sometimes might have happened because society has asked you to transform sometimes you don't know that you are transforming because of the society around you is making you transform and this happens in most of our lives in my life too i'll be sharing a story in a few minutes but before i sh share that story with you i want you to understand the process of transformation is not that pleasant to look into see look at the photo here the one uh, about with all the stages of the process of that butterfly transforming do you look does it look beautiful only the nature lovers like it not everyone does everyone sees the end result similarly once you transform to a wiser person that's when some people look up to you not in the process or maybe not at the early stages of you not at the initial stages of you most of the people they might not encourage you and there is lots of leg pulling when you are at the initial stages do you agree with me thank you similarly once you are successful there are people who might not really like you because they are jealous of you but it should not actually stop you you want to transform because that's your choice and if you want to transform consciously then pay attention here show your participation show your concentration 100% in this presentation right then as i have mentioned i want to share a story then look at the dog here can you type in what breed you think it is i'm looking at the chat box now please type in what breed do you think this dog is look in the chat box now it doesn't matter you don't have to give me the right answer whichever answer comes to your mind please type in is the chat box open for you i think so friends you will be getting certificate only once you participate yes the chat is open for everyone so please type in which breed of dog do you think it is
okay, uh, let me tell you, it doesn't even matter which of breed it is. The story is more important. And what you get out of the story, the moral of the story is more important than the story. So, listen. There is a friend of Ramesh called Suresh. So, Ramesh went to Suresh's place and Suresh has a dog with him. Suresh and Ramesh were sitting in the drawing hall talking to each other. And they hear a dog barking in the next adjacent room. And the sound is something like this. <laughs> then Suresh was actually just listening to it, doing nothing. Ramesh was getting reluctant. They left it for some time. And after a few minutes, the dog still was moaning. <laughs> then Suresh just shouted at the dog, You stupid dog. Then few more minutes. Ramesh couldn't stay quiet. He reluctantly spoke to Suresh and said, Suresh, why don't you do something? Why can't you go and help your dog? Your dog is crying out of pain, man. Then Suresh said, it's a stupid dog. And he shouted at the dog once again by just sitting in his chair. You stupid dog, stop it. But Ramesh was still worried. Then Suresh explained to Ramesh. Ramesh, don't you worry because there is a rusted nail there and dog might have stepped on it. It is having enough pain to moan but not to move. So the pain is creating or making the dog to shout and moan, bitch about it, but it is not able to do anything. That means pain is not enough for it to move. Similarly, we humans, we also moan about our situations. We always think of moving, but we don't move out of that pain. We want to still even the pain because we are comfortable there. The pain is not enough for us to move, but it is a pain. It is painful. We are there standing knowing the pain. We need to move out of the pain if it is painful, but not everyone does it. Doesn't it doesn't give that courage for everyone to move on because they are feared what might happen after that. I have my own story to tell wherein I was also mourning sometimes but it was only for just few days my friend because by then I have seen lots and lots of people mourning for years and years together about their bosses, about their situations in their life, about their relationships but that pain for them was enough to moan, but not to move. Unless you are moving, you are still in the pain. If you want to still live in the pain, then don't moan about transforming yourself. For me, if you are moaning, that means it is cry for action. If you have a trouble in your life, that's when you need to study more about your pain the cause of the pain find out the root cause and start moving don't moan about it don't bitch about it just take action find out what is the root cause of the pain and just move start moving small pain also should create a momentum in you that's this session is all about i am here to help you out but are you ready to move that's my question, my friends. If you are ready to move, then here's my question. I want you to add in this group of my Facebook and let's discuss further about your pain in that group. We are discussing for you to take action, not to moan about. You ready with that, my friends? If you are ready, just type in yes. I'm just checking on the chat box to see how many people are fired up and ready to move. Thank you. I see some movement here. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for that movement. I'm going to put in my Facebook group here. I want everyone to add onto the Facebook group before we go into the next part of the presentation.
here it comes my friends in the chat box right click on this group now click on this group and join yourself in the group because from here the presentation and the group will be going hand into hand as i've mentioned you will get your certificate once you participate 100 percent you will be getting a participant certification or participant certificate at end of today or by next week at the earliest right i'm getting onto this facebook group myself to look into how many people have added onto the group as i mentioned it is total participation from your end i want you all to participate thank you thank you for your responses See, this is an action taking group. Thank you. I can see some here. It's moving. Yeah. If you have any queries, please type in, in the chat box. Some more participation, some more people need to join in. Right, I'm approving them. Right, thank you. Thank you all for joining. Yeah, some more people to join in. Right, just type in your name in the post here in the group. Please type in your name. Type in your name in the group. Right, my friends, let's get back to the presentation now. See, why am I making you do all this? There is a reason behind it. Because the next part of our presentation is about comfort zone. I'm making you move from your comfort zone. Our talk from now is about the comfort. And once you want to move out of your comfort zone, or when you want to do something new, that's you need to get away from your fears. You should move on with your fears now. It is a uh, gen friends. The generation now is very fast. You can't be just staying in comfort zone all the time. And you will be defining your comfort zone in a minute. But before you get into designing or defining your comfort zone, let's talk about comfort zone first. So the picture now I'm going to show you might bring in some thoughts. Look at this, the young couple. The young couple, maybe they've just started their, they've just completed their prom. See how comfortably, how pleasant they are, how glowly their faces are. They're looking into each other's faces, in each other's eyes. They're so happy. Can't you see that? It becomes so pleasant in a heart it's a pleasant situation for them and at that point of time for them that is the comfort for them but looking at the same thing some people at some other places being in their horrible life might be feeling jealous and at the same time giving some comments saying their life is so comfortable they are so happy my life is miserable 
if your life is miserable it is you who is making your life miserable it's you 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 need to take action as i've said and this comes another picture and some people they might like adventures their comfort is in going on to this mountains climbing the mountains and reaching the heights there are couples who are doing it together that's what they like that's the comfort and look at this there are people who like to talk to people people talking to people a person if we can bring lots of change in maybe a group of people that group can actually bring in more change in thousands of people from thousands to lakhs lakhs to crores i am one among them i like teaching to people i like speaking on in the public but you see in google or you can research somewhere else as well you will find the biggest fear in humans is public speaking but this is my comfort zone i like speaking to people then this is the last picture for comfort zone there are people who love their country they are so patriotic they want to do things for their country a lot that is their comfort that's how they want to live their life helping the people for nation they dedicate their life for nation they lead their lives they might lose their life when they go to the war but that's the comfort for my, them my friends this is about comfort zones it totally differs to the person to person places to place and face to face you might not like the same comfort where you were as a kid when you are young adult and you might not like the same things which you liked as a young adult now as a adult now as you are a grown up societal pressure and you yourself feel pressure to take action to move out of this thoughts which are put in your brain this belief system need to change only then you will redefine your comfort zone for you to redefine your comfort zone you should come out of that nutshell your n and this is a virtual nutshell my friends this is where you need to transform for you to transform here i have got tools for you you are wanting some tools let me know why are you looking for transform so far you might have transformed unknowingly unconsciously because your subconscious mind has already taught you to transform look at this picture here from a kid to the child child to the young adult from there to the adult and then grown up elderly person do you think that's all your life is it's a nature it will happen anyways but if you want to add value to your life and others lives see no one is actually bothered what's happening in your life they might bitch for some time but it is not what they really want similarly you it is you who need to understand why you need to transform where you want to stand after 5 years from now so that your comfort zones are in similar grounds or in similar lines of your own passion you with me thank you so do you want to know what are the tools i'm going to give you for you to transform to a transformation to happen these are the four pillars my friends a transformation happens because of these four pillars i categorize here with my own experience and looking into hundreds and hundreds of lifestyles who come to me asking for help i coach i'm a personal coach you see i'm a speaker i'm a people's person i like going and looking into the lives i've seen different stages of people i've seen different people transforming from their 
early ages to a grown up age they come to me for help sometimes to know what should they do in different situations of their face regarding their relationships regarding their jobs regarding their career regarding x y z and i'm there for them and i am adding volume for them and then they transform and just guiding them to transform and just guiding them sometimes a small spark is enough to fire the whole forest you might have that match stick with you you might have that fuel with you but you want that spark i can be the spark in your life you want that spark to happen yes you want to do something in your life move on with your life i'm there for you that's where i'm there for you for you to give a spark you are the one who will be transforming and for you to transform please look into this four pillars innovation is the key you need to do something to transform you need to understand why do you want to transform first then you need to redefine your comfort zones similarly you need a pain point for you to transform and you need to take action on it right these are the four pillars we'll be talking about this four pillars now first one is innovation what do you mean by innovation is innovation for you to do something which not one has done or it is what everyone do in different manner what do you think please type in the chat box what do you think about innovation please type in the chat box i want everyone to interact with me this is a discussion now please type in your answer in the chat box what do you think about transformation and innovation in transformation what do you think about innovation i want your answers my friends thank you order boss thinking more more answers please new ideas thank you office and once you have new ideas only then you take new actions do take action once you take action fail review it do it more we'll be talking about actions in a minute anyways but once you have that new ideas generating in your brain putting them on the paper walking through it only then it is a innovation so first pillar is innovation and innovation is doing things differently don't do different things but do things differently and this is you you need to do it my friends then the second pillar is comfort when i'm talking about comfort i want you to redefine your comforts what do you think about comfort what do you think a life is a comfortable movement what situation do you think is comfort can you type in in the chat box what do you think about comfort right facilities you need to have all the facilities in your life unless you have facilities you will not be feeling comfortable but are this facilities a need or a want where we feel safe thank you sir as we know the hierarchy of our needs there are five different hierarchies you know the first one is basic needs fundamentals the food the hunger we need to actually give food so that our hunger is suppressed basic need then your safety you want some secure place third one is being belonging you want to be felt belonging you want some love you want someone with you and the fourth one is self esteem your attitude and the fifth one is self actualization 
when you are actually catered all these five needs, then that's when you know what is comfort for you from your whole heart. And for you to redefine comfort, it is a process. You might have redefined the comfort now, but that's not everything spontaneous. You need to rethink about it. And while you are moving on, taking some actions, you will be changing that comfort. Some people like working maybe 12 hours, 16 hours, sometimes 20 hours a day. That is situation demanding them. They transform themselves to do that 20 hours job. And some people, they are so tired working for 5 hours. And they would like spending their time somewhere else maybe. What about the volume now, my friends? Is volume okay? Thank you. So please redefine your comfort. What is a situation in your mind which tells you that's my comfort? You can put your answers in the group. We can review that. And that is your comfort. So I don't have to review. You need to review. Right? So for comfort, it is you who will define your comfort. You can't compare your comfort with other people. You need to compare it with you yourself. Then, as I mentioned, the first pillar, can you tell me or can you type in the chat box what was the first pillar? Innovation. Second pillar, redefining your comfort. And third one is need for you to transform. More urge you have the greater the need, the greater is your vision, greater is your transformation. Some people transform because of the worry. Let me tell you a story here. I wanted to set up my own business since five years. But it was not a big pain for me to start the business then. Out of this five years, after three years, after three years, just two years back, I started a business. But I was not putting too much of efforts into it. Then after five years, I've started a fully established moving business with staff members working together. We have a culture together. We want to grow together. That is the business I wanted to start and I've started after five years. And I've started this business after five years after seeing a pain. And that is a physical pain, my friends. In October, I got admitted in the hospital because a severe abdominal pain. And I'm not talking about a physical pain, only physical pain. I'm talking about physical and mental pain. I was worried on that bed in the hospital. What if, that was in my mind, what if, I'm not going to fill in the blank, what if, because of that what if, my pain to start my business went up or it shooted like anything. And I had this vision in my mind, I want to add value to the people. I've already been coaching lots of people, working as an assistant professor. Why don't I take the same thing as my business? I'm a trainer already. I'm a certified coach. I'm a certified counselor. I can help people in their different phases of life with relationships, with career guidance, and help them with different aspects of life. When I can do that, why should I not set up the same business? I did. Now I have more than 150 people following me. And that's only because that need, 
that need made me do that i had that worries and you should have keep having worries in your life consciously be worried don't be worried because life is throwing things on you you should be consciously worried you should know your needs only then your vision is bigger as your vision is bigger and vision should be selfless though it is your vision which is your selfishness but what you want to give to the society is selfish for you but you should do it selflessly stretch to your stress your stress should be in your control and stress is very good my friends do you know how we grow you know we grow till certain age physically and after that we stay on that height for life long we are growing till maybe 6 foot and you are growing till 6 foot and after that you don't grow any more that doesn't mean that should stop you growing here just check on the chart my friends one second thank you hafiz garu thank you stress to stress you should take your stress consciously as i've said stress is good because for you to physically grow that stress is helping you you are doing that movements your hormones are doing that work that is stress they are stressed upon similarly for you to get your score in your 10th did you take the stress did you put that effort to score similarly in your 10 plus 2 and then in your bachelors now are you not putting your conscious efforts to achieve your goal or results yes you are similarly are you doing it for your vision for your passion that's my question plus do it for your passion now do it for your passion now have your vision written have a road map for next 5 years what do you want to achieve in next 5 years stick that road map on the mirror where you see yourself on a daily basis or put it in uh, your private place where you can go in and look into that uh, every day only then you are consciously taking stress and stress is good my friends burden is not good over stressing is not good and stress should come to you with your control within your control only then your health is good you are good you with me and the last pillar is action unless you take action you can't transform can anyone tell me i won't take action and i'll be transformed your comforts may be different you might take lots of time to transform but it is your life after this pillar you'll be knowing how to measure your transformation as well but now concentrate on action part my friends for you to take action you should actually dream you should dream big you should have a bigger vision from your pain as i said from your need as i said if you have that need you are able to visualize where you want to stand after 5 years then put that on paper yes put it on the paper once you put that on a paper then you have a road map then you will know what are the struggles you should go through you know the objections to go through you know the rejections to go through then you will also know the challenges you are facing and accordingly you will take action yes action you take action once you take action you fail you come across fears overcome your fears once you overcome your fears then review review do things different again try to find out shortcuts for your success once you go on on a longer road unless you put action this is not going to work dream have a vision plan for it organize it that is road map implemented once you implement it then you'll have a review and then once you have a review then the final stage is improve keep on improving 
it's a process my friends your transformation is a process and there ends the four pillars my friends these four pillars are very important as i've already mentioned if you have these four pillars then you have your foundation to transform you are ready to transform now when your transformation you are in the process of transformation how will you know that you have transformed good question to ask type in yes type in yes if you are excited and want to know the measure to transform and i want every one of you participating here to type in yes only then i will be talking with the same energy i am talking now i want more energy my friends see i've been shouting i want more energy i want every one of you to participate don't do this for your certificate do it for yourself do it for your transformation do it for your vision your dream this is you this is for you just type in yes again and i'm going to give you the measure for transformation for you to transform you will have the measure you want to know what the measure is you are your measure in units units are very important your units you define it can be si units yeah say it's your unit you need to define your units you need to have your measure you need to redefine where do you want to move which area do you want to transform i am giving you this three areas to transform anything any dream any vision you have for you it falls under this three things my friends and you need to set your units in yes you need to set your measure in yes and these are your health your health your wealth your relationships my friends your health where are you in point of your health are you fit enough to walk for one full hour are you fit enough to run 10 kilometers are you fit enough to cycle for maybe one hour think about it definitely once you really transform yourself to do what you want to do in terms of health then you improve your goal from 10 kilometers you go to the 11 kilometers from 11 go to 15 is it a big jump then maybe 11 to 12 12 to 13 then your heights sky sky is your limit you want to move on go to the next step and the next step keep growing that's how you progress right let's go into all these three areas one by one coming to your health there are two things you need to take care of mental health and the physical health mental health as you are growing you need to be wiser that doesn't mean you should know everything in the world but at least you should be able to handle everything in your life in terms of your health you should be able to take action on a daily life to make yourself healthier day by day you might ask me and question me babu are you silly day by day your age is decreasing no your age is increasing day by day you getting older is growing you might say as you are growing older the life is getting shorter the life span is getting shorter actually your life span might be getting shorter if you feel so but if you want to live longer then it is in your hands you need to start disciplining yourself in terms of food in terms of diet in terms of healthy fit for you to be physically fit and live longer you need to discipline yourself your rules 
your health. You get that? Do some exercise every day. You don't have to be vigorously getting onto the gym, but do something at home. It doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. Do something in your home. Do which fits you better, which you really love, which you like. Define it for yourself. Comfort zone. Redefine your comfort zone. Do what is good for you to keep your healthy fit. Right? Then the second thing is wealth. In terms of wealth, how much money balance do you want in your bank? Dudlu. Yeah? Do you want enough for you to eat on a daily basis? Three times a day? Or do you want enough to feed to the people in your society, in your street, or in your nation? And all this is possible here. If you visualize, you have a vision to feed everyone in your nation, it is possible if you take action. You need to have a road map and organize a planned structure to go and feed the nation. It is possible. Yes, my friend, it is possible. I'll tell you how it is possible, not in this discussion, but if you ask me in my personal window. If you ask me personally in my Facebook, messaging me, I will help you with that. Yes, it is possible if you think so. I will give you the guidance how to do that. Right? Then, this is also wealth creation. Having maybe lands, plots, different buildings, apartments, you can grow in your wealth as much as you want. Yes? So that's wealth point of view. Everyone has different things in their mind. Gold. Houses, real estate, money, it's up to you, my friends. Whatever wealth is for you, you need to have enough to serve at least few people around you, adding value to their lives. Then, this is very important, my friends. I really love this. And this is my area. I love building relationships. I love bonding with people. I love having a bigger network. I want to help people. I want to be a person in their lives. I want to touch 10 crore people in my lifetime. And I've given next five years as target. In next five years, I want to reach up to 10 crore people worldwide. And in my journey, I've already started. I've already got few people in my life. I'm in their life. They know me. I know them. We are helping each other. We are growing together. I might not have everything in my world wherein I'm able to help everyone, but I might connect them. I have people to help me to connect to other people. Similarly, I have people to help other people. So I am the bridge. You want some help? I may not help you. But there are people who can help you through me. So relationship building is nothing but that. Networking. You need to genuinely have love for people. You can't be doing it for some purpose in your mind. You need to help people because you want to help people and for them. It is for their pain. And more you help people for their pain, you become less selfish and people like you more haven't said that you need to keep yourself in a safe zone my friends you can't be helping people so much that you need some help from others don't do that right have enough for you to give it to others right because you have a family to feed you have your own kids you have your own family to take care of. So that is your primary relationship where you need to focus first. Once you focus on that, then focus on the society. 
there is a saying in telugu intini gelchi oorni gela unnaru so that means you need to strengthen your family first to help other people you with me thank you then officially i end my talk here these are my handles my friends in facebook you can get in touch with me in facebook page you can get in touch with me through my youtube channel and also linkedin any help you want i'm there i may not help you but i have people to help you thank you so much for participating and that's 